Um, follow up on Jean's question, actually. Um, keeping the taste of happiness in one's mouth. And you said it's a, it's a very easy uh, to say yes to all of experience, or to to do that. Is it actually easy? Yes. In fa in fact, it's it's. I'm glad you asked that question because after I finished the conversation with Jean and went on to the next conversation, I, I would like to have added something to it, which which you've now given me the opportunity to do. Yes, it it, it is easy. In fact, it, it it's easier than easy. It it's not really necessary even to make the effort to say yes to your current experience because it is, because it is the nature of awareness to be open without resistance to all experience. Awareness is already saying yes to experience. It's just the mind that rises up and says no to some experiences. So it's not necessary for the mind to change that no into a yes. All that's necessary is to feel the innate yes, the innate openness of awareness. Awareness by definition says yes to all experience, otherwise the experience wouldn't be happening. So it, actually, it, yes, it's easy. Could I ask you a favor? If, if you could, because I'm, I'm having, there is an experience of, my, of the mind or the body mind saying no. And is it possible for you to help guide me to the innate yes? It's, it's, it's here. Yes, with, with your eyes open, f first of all, know and feel now yourself as, as awareness or that which is aware. Yes, just, just I am the presence of awareness that is knowing or aware of my current experience. Now, with your eyes open, try to get rid of the perception of this room. In other words, try, try I'm talking to you, awareness. Try to say no to this experience. Try to get rid of it. Awareness cannot say no to experience. It, awareness doesn't know the meaning of the word no. It's not in its repertoire. It is just it is just a big yes to everything. Okay, so I'm I'm taking that and I'm applying it to the mind and the body saying no to this, you know, sensation, whatever is coming up in me. Yeah, the mind says, no, I don't like the sight of this room. No, I don't like this sensation. No, I don't like this. That's the mind. And you don't have to change the mind's no into a mind's yes. Otherwise, you're going to have a battle with the mind. The mind's always you're going to be. It, don't, don't make a conflict in the mind. It, it's not about changing the mind's no into the mind's yes. It's about standing as the presence of awareness and seeing that awareness is already effortlessly open without resistance to all experience. Just be that openness without resistance to all experience and you'll never experience a moment of unhappiness because all unhappiness is resistance to experience. Awareness knows nothing of unhappiness. Awareness is aware of resistance to experience and awareness is not saying no to that resistance. Awareness cannot. Can say, awareness no. is like the space in this room. It simply cannot say no to anything that happens in this room, even if we were to start fighting each other now. Could, could it's not would the space say no to it? It's could the space say no. The space is totally vulnerable, totally open. It, pure sensitivity. It cannot say no. It's just utterly open, unconditionally, without resistance to all experience. Be that openness and you'll never experience a moment of unhappiness. Because all unhappiness is simply, I don't like my current experience. That's it. That's all there is to the experience of unhappiness. I don't like what is present. I want what is not present. The mind says that. Awareness never says that. The mind can continue to be unhappy, but awareness... Just will leave the mind alone, because you're, you're not the mind. The mind is just, uh, just what's playing on the screen of awareness. You, you take your stand as awareness, which is just this unconditional, 
openness without resistance to all experience. That's why happiness is the nature of awareness. Awareness has never experienced a moment of unhappiness. He doesn't know what the word means. And even when the mind is unhappy, even when we're suffering, at that moment, awareness is happy. When King Lear is miserable about his relationship with Cordelia, John Smith's enjoying himself on stage. <laughs> He's happy. He's not saying no to Cordelia. So even in the midst of our suffering, the, the inherently happy nature of consciousness is shining. All you need to do is take a step back from your mind into your true nature of awareness and immediately your happiness is restored.